Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Vine the top lane and showing you how to carry on with the best runes and build possible. We have Lethal Temple for the Shred Down, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, with free boots, biscuit delivery, attack speed 80, and armor. Vi is very similar to a Jax top. You have some offensive mobility plus a hard CC. You also have shred every third auto once you have your W does a bunch of bonus damage, which is max health, so you can even shred tanks with it. Shreds their armor and gives you attack speed all in the same time and puts your passive on a lower cooldown. Your W does like five different things, it's kind of crazy. And then you're using auto attack reset, and then your R, huge gap closer, damage, hard CC. You want to start Q so you can activate your passive. You can't actually activate it with your W on its own. And we're going to build similar to a Jack so we can get things like Fork, Black Cleaver, Divine Sunder, those type of things. Vi plays best, I think, against lower damage champs or just kind of squishy champs in general. I don't necessarily want to play into a cane. He used his Q slightly too early. He needed to wait for my shield to full fade there, but he didn't. I don't think I can outpush this guy. We don't want to take a big trade until our pass is back up, so I'm not looking to fight him there. He actually started with tier, which is incredibly greedy. I'm on my shield, so I win that trade. Vi shield's crazy big. 96 at level 1? That's basically two champion auto attacks it can soak. So an auto and about half an ability. It is a lot. He's just trying to power push right now. He's being a pest. I only need this minion then, level 2. Nice. We're going to get W now for the all-in potential. You can only really apply your passive once per kind of all-in fight anyway. So there's no reason for me to get my E right now. Because I can apply passive with my Q on its own. So instead, I'd rather have W for the shred. We're looking for the all-in since we have exhaust and ghost. He just hit me with some his ranged ability, his W. Kane top isn't bad. It's kind of annoying to play against, to be honest. He's already used both potions. That's good for us. All right, friend, auto attack E reset. Yeah, he's gonna have to back off now. Auto attack E reset. Got him with the Q, auto, auto, down he goes. Ghost is much better at chasing people down than Flash is at escaping Ghost, especially when we have so much distance to chase there. That fight was not close at all. That's how I like it. Auto attack Q. Okay, we got this push. He's gonna TP back. I don't think he can really freeze the wave. That's too many minions. He also blew through all of his potions. He took two potion tier start, which is super greedy. Come back to lane and punch this guy around in the head. Grab a... Yeah, I'm down for a refill this game. I'm not crazy about refill necessarily, but I had a weird amount of gold. I really, 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 really like Sheen first item purchase on Vi because it lets you take super bursty trades, like a Q, you hit them, auto, attack into E. That way you're using all your abilities, you get your auto reset and you're applying your W. So Q, auto, E, and your W applies off that, very spicy. You can even mix in another auto attack. Plus you get your Sheen application, you back off, your shield soaks, and it's hard for them to trade that. We're going to Q-Max into E-Max. I do want this to push into me. He has more minions than me here. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get that one. He pushed me off right as I went in for the last hit, that little butthole. Just trying to thin this so it doesn't tsunami crash. I want it to slow push into me. Add a trickle, not add a full on wave. Oh, he missed cannon. He's, he's nervous. He's level 5 before me. He doesn't have real items, though. My jungler's topside. He should not have done that. Auto, auto, E reset. Down he goes. We get our Sheen proc. We also land in our Q. His wave is going to continue to push into me, so I can actually back from this position and not really care. Now, what I do need to do is thin it out before I leave. That way, it doesn't crash. Now, I might not actually have time to do that. So, yeah, I actually don't have time. Might be able to all in anyways with my HP advantage. Or, I mean, with my level advantage. I should have thinned it out with abilities. I thought I could do it with my autos, but as you can see, it's still hard pushing into me. It's just too many minions. I used my shield there because I saw his minions were uh, starting to focus me. He's missing, oh my gosh, my <laughs> the way my minion aggroed there. He's missing a lot of minions right now. A lot of golden XP. His level 6 is going to be heavily delayed. I'm trying to pay attention to see where their Shaco goes. He's in his jungle right now. He's actually pathing into me, so I need to let this keep coming to me.
Why does it say I'm level 6, but I have my R and I just leveled up my Q? So I'm actually level 7. What in the world just happened? Because I was already level 6. How did I just level up my Q? 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm so confused. Did I just level up my R or my Q? I don't, that doesn't make sense because I have my R. I think Shaco's here. I'm going to back up. I don't want to deal with him right now. I'm gonna run away. I don't have to fight this guy. The wave's already coming to me. Take it for what it is. Holy crap, I'm missing minions like crazy. Should be able to all in him here. I don't know where the Shaco is though, so I'm gonna play this really slow. I think he's still in the area. I literally still think he's here, so there's no rush in my mind. So I see him somewhere else. I think I saw him loop back around. I kind of have this in a freeze still. He has more minions. As long as my range creep here dies. It's at least a soft freeze. My wave might push off the next one since it reinforces first. I've got cre getting creep blocked here so hard. He's afraid to step up. I don't think Shaco's here anymore. I'll use Biscuit one time to blow half health or half mana. He can't really fight me. I still have gold spent advantage, I believe, at least in terms of practical gold spent. Because tier doesn't really, isn't going to help him too much. You know, one versus one to the death. He's missing a lot of CS because he's forced to kind of farm at max range. I'm going to push him off the, these melee minions. I'm not going to let him have that. Absolutely not. Once he's red king, this might actually get kind of hard. He, yeah, wow. Okay. So, yeah, he's just going in for one at a time. Because I have the wave in such a good defensive spot that he doesn't want to fight it, which is smart. Because he's already been losing fights against me. I don't know where he went there. I'll play it nice and slow, though. I still don't know where Shaco is. I don't want to die. I'm sitting on a lot of gold here. Push him off that melee. If he went for it, I was going to Q charge into him. The longer you charge your Q, the more damage it does. But as long as you land it, it's still good enough. It's just if you have the option, sure, full charge it. You don't always have that option if you want to land it. Oh man, I just missed a minion. Oh, I just missed another minion. And I mean, oh, oh my god, I missed four minions. That was kind of awkward. Very awkward. You can poke them with your E. If they have zero sustain, you can poke them with the ranged on your E AoE. But that's not usually... It's, it's only so useful though. It's only good against champions who have zero sustain. So maybe like a team on top who isn't rushing Bork or Riftmaker. You could poke him down. Someone who doesn't take D-Shield second win and has zero healing in their abilities. That could be a great option. He's not Red Kane yet. The thing is, I've been avoiding fights with him because I haven't really known where Shaco is. And I've been satisfied with building up a CS lead. If I don't know where Shaco's at, things could get really, 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 really messy. Because Shaco's going to ignite me. He's going to have his R. I can't kill him because I don't know which one's which. I'm not going to coin flip that. So. And on top of that, more best case scenario, I get away. But he gets a lot of red essence off of it and gets his second form faster. His wavering forces first. He's also killing my minions here. Nice try from him. He's willing to play this really slow. All right. You want to do it? I'll attack E reset. I'll miss some minions off of it, but I mean, he did lose a lot of HP. His wave reinforces first here. It still pushes to me, I think. At least I hope. I almost missed that minion. Oh my god, I should have just queued for that to get there faster. 
Oh my goodness, dude. I'm missing so much CS, it's insane. Vi has its short auto attack range. Very short. The wave is still pushing into me here. That's good news. I need to thin out these melees. He only needs that four more range creeps than me, realistically. My goodness, almost missed that one. Take this one before one of my minions snipes it. Missed that one, feels bad. In theory, we're getting more XP than this guy though, since he's having to base so much. <laughs> he's actually so patient, it's crazy. Not many players are willing to be as patient as this guy. You may say, well, why not just all in him? I'm not gonna be able to kill him. He's gonna run. I'll attack E reset. I'm a, I'm gonna escape here. Sorry guys. Ooh, got him. Ooh, got him. Nice. Easy peasy. That was super sketchy. I'm glad I had exhaust. Exhaust made that a lot uh, less sketchy. Kane had to burn his flash to keep up because he didn't want to do that dive. And then we we're able to connect and kill. Go ahead and pop biscuit since I'm below half health, half mana. Plus, every time you use a biscuit, it increases your maximum mana by, I believe, 40. Yeah, it is 40. Look at that creep block, dude. They need to increase Vi's base auto attack range. It's actually ridiculous. Ridiculous how short it is. I'm going to reset now. He burns his TP for this. We'll see if he stays for the wave or he tries to stop my recall. It's going to be hard for him to stop it. He's got red cane now. I'm going to have to go Kempunk Chainsword. Switch up what I'm doing. If I don't go for Kempunk Chainsword, I'm not going to be able to kill him whatsoever. Generally, though, you're going to build just like a Jax. You could go Divine Sunder into Bork Rush. You could go Bork Rush against tanks into Divine Sunder. You can pick a Black Cleaver along the way. You're just Jax, really. You're a more aggressive, higher CC Jax. I need Kempunk versus this guy, Amundo, a Red Cane top. Any kind of massive self-healer Kempunk is really good. He misses Cannon off that. He flinched. That was a game of who flinches first. He had to save it until I had actually uh, started traveling. He got nervous though. So he misses out on cannon gold. He missed uh, two or three melee creeps there as well. He's so nervous. He's gonna miss that range creep. The thing is I have my shield, so I can kind of just stand here and tank a lot of shots. Like you see there, just reduced damage by like 100 that I took. Pop my refill. He might still think this is a freeze, even though it's not. He has to have four more minions in me because now my next wave is going to reinforce before his. This isn't the most fun way to play. Some matchups dictate it, though, and your opponent can kind of dictate it. And the thing is, and he's falling so far behind in CS that us doing something crazy. We're just missing all the CS ourselves. Like we're already building up a huge advantage. We're already basically three or four kills up just in terms of CS. So he's going mid now. Auto, auto E, we got our W activated. Auto attack E reset. Can push the wave really fast when people actually do roam away from you. Kane did not even get an assist for that. Feels bad for him, man. He's gonna, he might even lose his turret on that. Auto attack E reset, plus I get the Sheen proc off of using my E ability. He's gonna still miss some of these. Yeah, his damage is really low right now. That tier start kind of wrecked him. Tier start is not very good if you're gonna play Red Kane, in my opinion. Oh, he got it. Nice. There's not much damage behind it, though. I'll attack E reset. I gotta walk out of this one. He's nearly lost his turret at this point. His wave's gonna push into me. If I ball up his minions, they'll start, like, you see how they're all hitting my front minion before my minions can all hit? His wave literally pushes to me now. It's a little wave trick. So is, is yours just trickling one at a time? Theirs are all packed and they can all start bashing at once. 
He's screwed, dude. My cannon's already dead. Now he's just AOing the wave. I'm gonna run away. I think Shaco was here. He laid his box, is why I didn't engage on that. I kind of queued right as I saw it. <laughs> we have double this guy's CS. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, man. I got my W activated. Now's a good time to fight him. Auto attack E, auto attack into Q, auto attack E, down he goes. Since our W was already activated, we got it off the minions. We had an additional 30% attack speed. So going into that fight with 30% attack speed already, it's going to be super, super hard for him to stay alive. It's something that he needs to watch out for. Not an easy matchup for Kane. Kane's easiest matchups are really weak top laners early on, super passive top laners, something like a Malphite. Where he could take D shield second win, perma survive the poke and farm up. Having to go against an all in style top laner like Vitop is not what he wants to play against. Let's see if I can take something here. So they got Harold. She goes trolling around for some reason. I have that thing to escape to there. Lissandra might be coming to me. I'm leaving. The fact she started moving left when Shaco was still semi chasing, I am not staying in that bush. I have my gold spent than I would have. From here, yeah, it's Divine Sunderer. Oh man, boot options, it's hard. It's real hard. It's so freaking hard, dude. <laughs> I can't decide what to get. Maybe I should go for Merc Treads. Merc Treads seem like. A semi noob trap item on Vi since you can go through all hard CC with your R. So with a snare or a stun, a knock up, a hook, anything. If any kind of CC is about to hit you, you can use your R and go straight through it. Or if they try to CC you while your R is happening, they can't. So it's only really going to be useful when we don't have R or if we use it too late. It's like the Shake of Fear, Ash Stun, Lissandra Snare, Lissandra Stun, Lissandra Slow. I'm going to go ahead and Ghost Q, Auto Attack, E Reset. Got it over with my exhaust, auto attack, E reset, auto attack, auto attack Q. Notice how I didn't Q immediately when it came back up since I was within clean auto attack range. There was no need. I could already hit her with like four autos before she gets out of my auto range there. So I might as well hold on to Q just in case she flashes and I can punch her head in. I punch, I'll punch your head. <laughs> oh man. I punch it. Ash mid, I still have R as well. I did burn Ghost and Exhaust. You might say, well, why not just use your R there and hold on to your sums? I mean, that's fair. In my defense, I thought there was going to be more people to where I could get more and more Ghost extensions, but it was only two people in the end. And he's still half of RCS. They're all kind of missing, so I don't want to try to do a random dive mid lane because it could all very well be heading there anyways, or I could have been showing on a ward that I wasn't aware of. See how when our W kicks in, now our attack speed's hecka strong. Boom. I can take some of Shaco's camps for sure. I'm essentially 3k gold up on this guy. MF's in the area. That's wild. I'll attack E reset. I'll attack E reset. You're dead. I R and then I hit him with a Q. After your R, you have time to weave in an auto attack, but I knew my Q would kill him there, so I didn't bother. Yeah, after R, you can usually auto, and then you have time to do one other thing. So whether that's auto E reset or auto Q, auto E, it's fine. So RC sees them for quite some time, even after you set them down. Auto attack E reset. So much freaking damage. I'm going to take this guy's uh, camps. I'm going to pretend like I'm a Trindamir. Juicing this Shaco. Milking him like a cow. We'll have nothing left. We'll be dry. Now all I have to do is stay alive so they don't get a thousand gold from killing me one time. That's the secret. When you're ahead, if you make a mistake that's big enough to get you killed, your the lead you've built for the last 20 minutes is now somewhat irrelevant. Why don't you come fight me, boy? Oh, okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> Yeah, he's just, he's running. He knows he can't fight me. 
I should go group for this dragon fight coming up in 40. Question is, should I spend gold first? Answer, I don't think I need to. I mean, Ash is two full item. We want to lead in with R here so we don't miss our Q. Oh, never mind. Never mind, dude. Chaco box ruined it. And whenever you're trying to decide if you should lead with R or Q, the answer is pretty much always R. Then you can land your Q for free. They can easily dodge your Q. They can't dodge your R. Unless they have Zonis, in which case it puts your R in full cooldown. Now, that must have been warded. We should be able to poke them off with Zig. This is the thing. Go ahead and lay that right there. Apparently, it can't see everything. I should have... I need to get that deeper next time. I want to fight him like this. I'm on a perfect flank here. I don't want to go in too soon, though, and get five-man focused. Who am I going to go on? MF? MF or Ash? Probably Ash. I'm going to ghost for this. Ooh, yeah, I got to use R now before I get CC'd and died. Absolutely no one on my team following up. Ash gets shut down. Not a single auto attack ability used before I die. Very cool. 10 out of 10. I needed to wait. The fact of the matter is my teammates were absolutely not going to engage there until I died. So I just needed to not go in until my teammates based essentially. And then I would just not go in. The thing that doesn't really make sense is my teammates not going in even though they stole dragons. So I guess my teammates just wanted the base. Even though I was super, super fed there. Nice. They cleaned up, but not really worth. The enemy's got my thousand shutdown gold. And the enemies managed to steal that dragon, unfortunately. Let's go for... I don't know. I'd say kind of hold breaker at this point. Or I could just go black cleaver. No, let's go bork and nuke black cleaver. I think that makes the most sense. Bork gives a great split push option, being able to self-heal. Hole breaker is still a solid option on some champions the thing is since it doesn't give you self-healing it would leave me in a weird spot i don't know if i really want to team fight with my team after what just happened though should have been a super easy fight part you know what part of the problem is we don't have anyone to engage on our team but me like who else is gonna help like when we go into fight who is Ash and Lissandra going to immediately dump their R's on? It's going to be me every single time. Split pushing might just be the way here. I'm going to hold on to my mana for now. I don't want to burn through all of it. I can clear waves really fast with just my autos as well. Oh, he actually went for my ward. What a butthole. Could be someone camping in there i'd rather not sit here and trade off waves all day with kane but the only other thing we can do is play for objectives that's the thing let's go for the red buff i guess that's coming up obviously we can't start baron they're all five alive twitch is about to run off into the middle of nowhere very cool he's gonna run into two of them that we saw topside just a moment ago very cool i like it a lot I'll be taking this. So the reason why Twitch really shouldn't be topside is he literally can't solo a single person on the enemy team. If Shaco comes for him, Kane, Ash, Lissandra, he's gonna die. That's why you don't send your weakest player to split push. You send your strongest oftentimes or your best soloist. I'll attack Eerie set, I'll attack R. I went through hers because I timed my R really well there. I'm gonna queue away. I'm on a speed up now, I should really get out of here. That shit goes the fake one, obviously. Twitch is splitting. Absolutely not very useful. <laughs> you can only break turrets so fast. On hit doesn't apply against turrets. He's only 50 mana. Not bad. Auto, auto, E. Yeah, if we're going to win this game, I, I can't die again. Literally, if I die, we lose. It's that simple. Because as is, Caitlyn... Caitlyn's value is extremely low, and we don't have a great comp for posting up against them. 
even if I land a perfect R and kill Lissandra, basically going through her stun with my R animation, eh, like we still didn't really win that fight. We still lost that fight pretty hard. So I don't know. They sent two people bot. It's time for dragon fight. It's time for board. Board Doms doesn't make any sense to get on life. You're going to build any HP items. It's a very uh, silly item. Go. Uh, yeah, it's a cleaver now. Because the thing is, if you're fighting a tank, you're going to shred them anyways. If you have Bork, you don't need Lord Doms. Plus, your W shreds their armor, and it uh, does max health damage. Doing 11% right now. It scales off your bonus AD. So, yeah. You don't really need LDR on buy. It's a bit of a wasted item. Are we actually going to get a dragon? That would be really neat. I'm going to push this real quick. If I can push mid, it kind of forces them not to do dragon. I went through it, but I'm going to die. Hopefully my team can get dragon. My death probably isn't worth, but if we get dragon, eh. I'm surprised they, they thought killing me was worth dragon. I wasn't expecting them all to be there. I thought one or two would peel off. But their whole team coming, I just... Wow. Something else. Took almost entirely magic damage. I need more magic resist. After cleaver, I'll go maw. I have a super high amount of uh, ability haste as well. Wait, maw gives zero ability haste? Why does it say that? Since when? I've never seen an item say that before. It literally says zero ability haste. Huh. Very strange. They get Baron off my death. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but I guess my team didn't expect it. Because even if you're going to say, oh, you, you, you died, of course you take Baron. We have multiple champions to poke. Our, literally, like my whole team outranges them and can poke them on Baron and make that very challenging for them. one of those things I have no clue why Twitch is top probably just follow him around and take the minions he's trolling the game super hard because like I said he can't solo anyone on the enemy team so he's not actually building pressure all it's like it's inflated marshmallow pressure to where the second they show up he has to like stop what he's doing and basically leave because he can't solo like anyone who's going to come to stop him. The only person on our team who can split push is basically me. Because they can't send a single person to solo me. Lilia landed a 5 man R. That's crazy. My teammate's got two of them. That's huge. That was all Lilia to be honest though. Hitting a 5 man R is ridiculous. She didn't even use flash to do it. Which is kind of nuts. All right, I need to get this turret. Ash needs to come base for her pent up. I'll attack E reset. Hey, Lissandra. I'll attack E reset. She burns flash because for some reason she still has that. I'll attack E reset. Yeah, sit down, boy. I get there and hit, they get mine. What's up? My teammate should be able to base in time. Even if he gets a turret, it's not much I could have done about it. I couldn't have backed in time. I would rather get an inhibit theirs even if they get two of mine. Because we're, we're losing this game. Like in terms of tempo. Really need that inhib for the pressure. On top of that, there's no reason my teammates should have necessarily died. After my teammates won that fight, they could have just backed off, but they kind of just stayed and then Ash killed them all. Knock him down. They got two inhibs. That kind of sucks. Very unfortunate. Kane's not even behind anymore. That's the thing about catch up gold with uh, shutdowns, yeah. with how he's played this game and with how much pressure was on him. He's barely down in items against us with one kill and 
a lot less CS. Yeah, thank you, Shaco. Good smite. I'll attack E reset. And that's pushing mid right now. Them having supers is going to make this hard. Much harder than I would like. Oh, I should have stayed. I didn't even think about it. I could go Shoujin, honestly. There <laughs> you go, Shoujin. It's a bit of a weird Eidemon buy because it doesn't help your W. It only helps your Q and your E. The item itself isn't bad, though. I mean, it's still a lot of AD and health. It's just, it's, it's so expensive that it can be hard to justify. I'll wrap up this build with, uh, dang, I should have gotten a Ma actually there. I didn't need Shoujin. That's my bad. It is putting my E on it. Wow, look at my E's cooldown. Four seconds per recharge. Hopefully we don't lose there. It looks like we're about to. I'll attack E reset, doing that for my Divine Sunder. I have a big wave bot side right now. Surprise they're actually chasing me right now when you look at their base. They have a lot of stuff going on in their base at the moment. They might actually lose that turret. Yeah, it feels bad. If we don't get that dragon, I'm going to be so annoyed. Kill the real Shaco. Yes, that's huge. Wind dragons are the most broken dragons in the game this season. Towards the end of season 12, they overbuffed them. To where it's legit. Having one is basically boots of mobility. Because it's out of combat movement speed. And uh, in combat slow resistance. It's huge. Slow resistance is going to be really good versus the Ash Lissandra as well. Hesitant to go in there. My teammates aren't really necessarily grouped up at the moment. Alright, I'm not sure where she went. It's making me a little nervous. Wait, where did MF go? I'll attack E reset. Ash burn her R on me. I'll attack E reset. Down she goes. I'll attack E reset. Ooh. She's shredded, but she's gonna try to kill me. I'm on ghost extensions though, so I'm chilling. I have my minion wave top side. I'm gonna see if Ash stays mid. And that'll determine if I run top to try to wreck what they're doing. So it looks like, yeah, Ash did base. She goes coming for the scuttle crab. Oh, it's warded. It's kind of weird. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, buddy. I found you. Down he goes. Twitch blows up his corpse on me or his R for whatever reason. <laughs> Nearly killed me. Holy crap, my cooldowns are so low. 1E e is 3 seconds. I mean, 1Q is 3 seconds, and 1E uh, e is much... Yeah, it's only a 4 second refresh. And 5 seconds between charges. Kind of nasty. I think I'll reset for Ma when I can afford it. Might actually be able to right now. Does she, does she M MF ward over here? I don't even know. Ash is over here, though. Hey, Ash. I'll attack E reset. Oh, I just got wrecked. Oh, I got baited so hard. I thought I could finish her off, but her teammates got there so fast. Lily is looking to go back in. Oh, she's going to lose all of her prants because she missed an ability or two. She gets the kill on MF. Someone has to back to base. Yeah, it looks like Ziggs is backing. Oh, this is such a weird fight, man. Like, Lily is fed, but <sighs> that's rough. We lost inhib. They might be able to end here potentially if they rush base because we don't have minions. 
I did get Ash's Flash, which I'm really happy about. She might have also healed. She definitely used her uh, Gale Force. Yeah, she's full build. Literally. Could argue Surlds for the slows. Surlds would be great. Maw would be great. I think Silvermere Dawn would be best for the ability haste. After you use Dawn, it gives you uh, not ability haste, but... 50% tenacity and slow resistance for three seconds is kind of crazy because the item itself is already decent. So it's already a QSS plus 50% tenacity per three seconds. If they try to dump all of your, their CC on you, they can't kill you. It's not possible. I'm actually glad they did Baron and didn't end. I think this is winnable. I'm really, 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 really strong. I'll attack E reset. Yeah, later, guys. They're trying to stop me with a bunch of bungholes. It looks like they're going to our base, kind of. Yeah, it looks like they are. I don't know why my teammates are all... Like, dude, Dragon isn't up for 40 seconds. Like, why are we all on Dragon? What in the world? What is this? We have 400 AD, 65 ability haste. How much is... Oh, no. Lily's out of position. Lily has screwed the pooch, dude. I have to just do it. I did it. I killed Ash. Did a bunch of damage. If we still lose this fight, then it's GG's. I used Silvermere Dawn to cleanse the Shaco Fear and also give myself a... Oh, okay. Yeah. That's huge. Silvermere Dawn's insane, man. This item is slept on so much how can you justify an item being qss and it gives 50 percent tenacity slow resistance per three it's freaking crazy they basically can't cc you if they hit you with let's say a three second cc you could set you qss it they hit you with a one second cc it only lasts for half a second they hit you with another one second cc it lasts half a second it just they can't stop you man this item's crazy we took pretty much all of our damage from Shaco as well. How much ability haste is this giving? So for your non-ultimate spells, you get 30 ability haste. Reduced to 15 ability haste for immobilizing spells. Question is, would Black Cleaver be better then? So this isn't even giving me... I think Black Cleaver would just legit be better here. Unfortunately. Because the thing is, on my Q... I'm not even getting that much ability haste since the CCing ability versus Black Cleaver's constant 30. Plus, Black Cleaver gives armor penetration. So, I'll take Cleaver for now. We have Draxel. That's really, really good. I could, I could still justify Maw, to be honest. Itching my eye. Hopefully they don't, they don't end while I'm itching it. Getting allergies. Oh, these guys are doomed. Oh, yeah, they're so doomed. <laughs> they got freaking smacked. Goodbye, Lissandra. <laughs> oh, Dragons is so broken, man. So broken. Boy, oh boy. We have nearly 50 seconds to end. The turrets are going to instantly die, man. As long as we have a minion nearby. Let's just take top and hit. I don't want to tank double base for our minion. Sick. And that is GG's, guys. Vi top lane, solid scalability. Whole lot of build options, very similar to Jax. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the second most in the game, less than Lilia. Big sad, but we did have more than everyone on the enemy team, so not bad. For damage taken, we had taken one of the highest on our team. Lilia took the most, that's kind of crazy. And for self mitigated, we were the highest in the game, very cool. For runes, a lot of value. Vi top lane is a lot of fun. Great power spikes. Her level one trading is nutty. As long as you're landing your Q, you can land Q, auto, run away, and they can't. most champions can't trade that away. 
they can't trade off of that very well. And then level two, you can pick up your W, look for an all in with ghost and uh, exhaust when you land your Q, a good combo, you know, you have enough space to chase very few champions that can turn against that. Just don't play her against, I would say, Jax, Shen. Anything that can block your autos, Jax, Shen, Teemo, Blind Dart are really annoying. So autos are your main source of damage. Team fights are a lot of fun in the late game. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.